And uh, he's a solid, solid guy. He's educated a lot of our kids, and I had a couple of kids go to Indian Hills. So I was solid. Twenty seconds, so I get skate. Right. So I have to run. And um, so uh, Joe Collins going to tell us all about himself and what's going on and how happy he is to be here. So Joe. Okay, thank you, Tommy. Uh, I guess I'll start a little bit about myself. I know a couple of you in the room. Uh, you know, because you kids went to Indian Hills and wonderful, wonderful families uh, uh, many, many years ago. As Tommy said, this is my 40th year at Indian Hills. I started as a uh, uh, biology and chemistry teacher. I uh, used to use Kenny's Colonial Florist for a lot of things with regard to projects when we, we would do holiday wreaths and the like. Uh, and basically speaking, as a teacher, I also coached a lot uh, in the district. I was a girls' soccer coach, coached against the great Paul Heenahan from Ramapo. We had some great, great battles back in the 80s and 90s, Indian Hills and Ramapo. Uh, and also coached basketball and had the opportunity to coach golf for 30, 32 years. Wow. Uh, so that was, unfortunately, when I became principal, I could no longer coach the golf team, which was a little bit of a drawback, but uh, I made up for it this uh, past summer. Got an opportunity to meet Peter uh, at the Barclays Golf Tournament at Ridgewood Country Club, uh, the end of, the, uh, end of August, and uh, we had a fine time bec because we marshaled the 15th hole and both of us were pulling for Morgan Hoffman. You guys know him, the, the local golfer from Wyckoff, uh, who has done so wonderfully on, on the, uh, on the uh, professional golf tour. Uh, so that was a fun thing to do this particular summer. I uh, got a few days off, uh, uh, used my vacation time uh, to marshal for those four days. No, you don't so. have to say that just because I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I actually saw Tommy there as well. Uh, he was on an adjacent hole uh, with uh, my secretary's husband. Uh, he happened to be uh, attending. Yeah, Roman, they all know. Oh, you know Roman? Okay. Yeah, Roman, yeah. Okay, so Roman Nikiford. So, in any event, uh, it was good stuff. But again, a long history teacher, coach, advisor, then I became the assistant principal under Al Evangelist, another great educator uh, for many, many years at Indian Hills. Uh, he's now retired, retired a couple years ago, and he's working, for those of you who know him, as a uh, special police officer in Pompton Lakes. Wow. Uh, and, and he's also the head of the OEM uh, in, in Pompton Lakes as well. So uh, another wonderful guy. We've had a ton of tremendous uh, men and women throughout the uh, 40 years that I've, I've had the opportunity to work in Indian Hills. Uh, unfortunately, we had a little sadness this week, and uh, one of our former teachers did pass away. If you go to our website, um, it's <coughs> Kathy Teresi, a special education teacher. In fact, they went up to the, uh, the wake last night up in Monroe, New York. Uh, she passed away, had a battle with cancer. She was about a uh, 10 or 12 year veteran of Indian Hills, retired police officer from New York City in the narcotics division. You'd never know it, little bit of a thing, but she was a wonderful, wonderful lady, uh, and uh, uh, we were very, very sad that she <laughs> lost her battle with cancer this past weekend. Uh, but uh, this is a big, special year for Indian Hills. It is our 50th anniversary. Wow. Wow. 50th anniversary. Wow. And so, uh, in fact, if you go to the website, our Indian Hills website, rih.org, you will see some nice pictures that we posted because back in September, we had a nice uh, gathering. I invited back. We had about 35 former teachers, now retired, come back to Indian Hills. Uh, our PTSO, we called it the kickoff celebration. Our PTSO, our parent group, uh, uh, treated them to a little, uh, little bite to eat in the faculty room. Nice big, well, had a big welcome back cake. And then, because it was, uh, uh, a Friday evening in September, we all went down to the, it was our very first football game of the year. And we all went down, so we called it the kickoff celebration. And not all of them, some stayed behind and had extra pieces of cake, but a lot of them went down to the uh, football field and watched our opening uh, game of the year. Very happy to say we won. We won oh, that wow. opening game. Our football team had a little better year this year. We're getting a little bit better. Uh, we had six wins this year, which was nice. 
We're a little bit different division. We did play Ramapo, our sister school. Ramapo, of course, had a tremendous year. Uh, they do very, very well in football. Uh, they beat us. But essentially, it's nice to see that our uh, football program was on the rise a little bit this year. I particularly enjoyed it because uh, I did the public address announcing at all of the football games. So it was kind of cool to get involved with the, you know, with the football team a little bit, the cheerleaders, the band. Tremendous band. I, I think you were saying earlier that you went out over to videotape them back in the fall. Tremendous band, a band that has grown uh, in about, uh, from nothing, 10 years ago. In fact, I, give, I always give the credit to Al Evangelista. He was the fella who started this band, uh, get, resurrecting the band. We had a band, 70s, 80s, and then it died in the 90s. He resurrected it. We started our band uh, 10 or 12 years ago with 13 kids, restarted the band with 13 kids. I, uh, I remember specifically because my, uh, my boys at the time, uh, I'm very similar to Tommy, we both have seven children, I have two girls and five boys, and they were uh, football players in Ramsey. They played football in Ramsey, and I remember being over there to watch their Saturday afternoon football game, uh, and uh, our marching band from Indian Hills marches on the field with 13 kids, 13 kids, and that's the the uh, the fans in Ramsey. Whoa! Look at this band. What, what, how tremendous they are with only 13 kids. What what a lot of guts they have to perform. So we started small, and now tremendous, tremendous in the last 10 years. So it's it's been a great. Uh, uh, 10 years for the band and, and, and for all the activities uh, at Indian Hills and we're happy to say that the football team is now on the upswing. Uh, so that's that, pretty much what's going on. The 50th anniversary, now what we're going to do again, in fact, I was in this room back in uh, October, okay, when uh, the 25th, the class of 1989 had their 25th reunion. Okay, my wife and I came over because I had been in contact with the president of the class who put together a reunion. They probably had about, I'd say, 80 or 90 uh, individuals come back from all over the country uh, to their 25th reunion. And at the 25th, because this, in honor of our 50th uh, year celebration, they, uh, they collected a donation. And I said, great, we'll put it toward a scholarship and they collected almost a thousand dollars. I think it's nine hundred fifty wow. bucks. We're going to make a nice scholarship this year uh, and let the officers of the class set the criteria for what they want. And then we're going to have. I'm going to invite the officers back in June to make the presentation at our award scholarship uh, ceremony. You know, right, right before graduation. So it was nice, and uh, uh, we had a nice affair that night here. It's, it's so. It's, I mean, 25 years seems like a long time, but you know, we're still telling stories from, remember you did this in class, Mr. C? Or, you know, that kind of stuff. So it was a very, 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 very en enjoyable evening. One, uh, one other thing that we're going to do in the springtime, is some of the faculty were not able to come back, uh, back in uh, September, and the community as well, I'm gonna try to have a, a very, another similar, uh, uh, welcome back for people who couldn't come in the fall, but I, I would like to center it around our spring musical. Mm -hmm. So I suggested, let's do the same thing. We'll pick a Thursday night or Friday night, whatever it is. Have, you know, have a little bite to eat and then uh, uh, everybody can go in and watch the spring musical. So I had this idea, I, I get my greatest ideas in the shower. Uh, while I'm showering in the morning, and, and uh, I bring it forward uh, later uh, that day to somebody, and then I find out that the, the musical that we're putting on this year is Grease. Oh. <laughs> How good is that? How good is that? Grease from the, I guess, 50s or 60s, when our school was first starting up, so... How apropos, I just thought, oh, wow, that was meant to be. So I have a little committee, uh, we meet periodically. A lot of the retirees are snowbirds, so they, they fly south in the, uh, in the wintertime. But we're gonna meet again in February and try and put the details together uh, and have another uh, nice celebration. And then as a finality for the 50th anniversary, uh, what I thought I would suggest, and I'll suggest this, yeah, provide everything comes off in April, for the spring play is 
maybe at graduation to bring back some of the retirees. If they want to dress in cap and gown, you know, just like the Board of Education, the, pr the principal, the superintendent are always on the field with the kids, maybe we can have, you know, some of the retirees throughout the 50 years, if they're willing, you know, to and uh, give them a round of applause for all of their efforts that made. So we're, we're really excited about how it's gone so far and these other little plans that, uh, you know, we can make, uh, uh, you know, this celebration year you so well. So that's the 50th. I wrote down a couple other notes here. Uh, I won't go into all, everything in detail, but there's a lot of good stuff going on at Indian Hills. Just a few little things. Last week we had the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office come in and speak to our freshman and sophomore class about, you, 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 you've read in the paper about the heroin problem that's going on. Very, very uh, powerful assembly from them particularly because we had two moms come back. One of the moms from Franklin Lakes who lost her daughter last year due to her, and some of you may know about know her, and also another mom uh, from Allendale uh, who lost her son to the heroin epidemic, a very Catholic kid uh, <coughs> uh, who was in college. So uh, very powerful. You could hear a pin drop mm. in our auditorium when they, when they presented their, you know, their, 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 their appeal to the kids to, you know, don't go in that direction, go to look right. to get help, you know, if, if ever that happens to be the case. Uh, this past weekend, uh, we had a Saturday seminar at Indian Hills. Uh, they were sponsored by our, our UP program. Some of you may know a little bit about our UP program in science, medicine, and research, uh, and also our business program. Uh, we took Saturday morning, had the kids come in, gave them a little breakfast, and uh, had seminars, and we had one of our former graduates come back and speak to the kids, uh, Eric Goldwasser. Last year, his brother, who I had the pleasure of teaching, uh, I used to teach in the science program, biology and chemistry, and I taught a section of research methods. I don't know if you ever took that class in college, but it wasn't the greatest class in the world. A lot of statistical stuff. But he came back, this fellow, uh, Dr. Goldwasser, who is now a doctor in Philadelphia, just graduated medical school outside Philadelphia, and he talked to the kids, and he says, yeah, I had that guy, I had Mr. Collins for research methods, and it was hard, it was a hard course, he says, but look at me now, you know, <laughs> so it was kind of nice to see that, you know, when you bring back your alumni who are doing so well, you know, out in the uh, community, and uh, they like to pay back, so that was good, and then his brother was here uh, this, uh, this week. Uh, uh, th this past Saturday. Uh, this, uh, uh, later on this morning, I am going back to Indian Hills and I've arranged a little principals meeting uh, with the middle schools. So Dr. Moore, who's the principal of Brown Paul, myself, and the three principals from the middle schools, Greg Desiderio from Oakland, Chris Isella from Wyckoff, Joe Kaiser from Franklin Lakes, we're all meeting in my office and we're talking about uh, the articulation <coughs> between the middle schools and the high school. And one of the things we want to foster at this particular meeting later this morning is uh, the math program so that everybody comes up from the middle schools to have a, a articulated the same kinds of things we're looking at at the math. So I've invited my math supervisors, both from Indian Hills and Roundpool, over to the office. So we'll have a little powwow a little bit later this morning to try to brainstorm things that we can do, maybe set up some visitations between uh, the high school and the middle school teachers. Uh, which we, can, we think would be uh, a very apropos. Uh, I got some other things, but I want to leave some, some time for some questions. Just one other thing we have coming up Monday, uh, we have two guest speakers. We have a professional day, MLK Day, Martin Luther King Day, uh, half a day, the kids only come in a half a day, and then the teachers come in, uh, we'll have a professional day in the afternoon. Uh, but in the morning, we're going to have two assemblies uh, an hour assembly for the freshmen and sophomores, and an hour assembly for the juniors and seniors. And it's all on the topic of another thing you've seen in the, in the newspaper, harass harassment, intimidation, bullying, okay? The Hib Law, and, the, uh, the, and we have a couple of wonderful guest speakers, one of whom uh, is a former New York Jet football player who does this. He goes around to the various <coughs> high schools and talks about, you know, uh, pro hopefully he'll give some nice experiences from his NFL days, uh, but talks about you know what uh, kids should be doing with regard to mutual respect within the community, etc. 
So uh, I'm looking forward to that, and that's going to be the Monday. Uh, that's about all I had to share. Did you have anything specific that you might have? Yes, sure.